So I just wanted to give you a little bit of information. I had the opportunity to go to my first convention and I was just thrilled and uh, it, I learned so much and have so much, I, so much more respect for Young Living than I ever did, I, which I had an immense respect for them pri prior. And I've been using Young Living products since 2005. Uh, here you had a phone call. Um, so I am just very excited to tell you a little bit about Seed to Seal. Seed to Seal has three pillars that they live by and it's called sourcing science and standards. And it's a process that uh, Young Living lives and breathes by, basically. This is how the whole business is run. And that goes up, down, this one? Oh, okay. So sourcing, Young Living has spent decades building relationships with all their suppliers. They ensure high quality essential oils and wellness products. Uh, they Everything they do is thought out and planned out. So they have very huge, major agricultural practices. So if you see the farms, uh, we were, had the opportunity to go to the Mona farm, which is the lavender farm. And oh, I was in awe. I was just in awe of the whole process. So everything that is planned or, or put into the products, our, uh, every ingredient is scrutinized and everything on the labeling is transparent. So that is very important as well. All the farms meet the seed to seal extremely high standards for quality. They have to go through, they have to live by those three pillars, sources, science, and standards. Each batch of essential oil is subject to extensive battery of tests and ongoing audits. Okay, I haven't gotten to science yet. <laughs> if our science and quality assurance teams find a supplier that is um, supposedly living by our standards and does not meet our st standards, they do not use it. So that is a very big thing is as Laurie was saying earlier, the um, the standards for even their employees or the, the chain of their employees of using it is, is extreme. So the science, um, we are the industry leading in testing and research labs uh, in our world-class aromic farms and distilleries. So we have, what do we figure out? It's 27 farms between corporate owned uh, brand pa or partnered farms, which means they are partnered with Young Living, but not totally corporate owned. And then we have our uh, trusted suppliers. Um, that is, I and mean, again, they all have to have that checklist of everything that Young Living lives by. So if they don't meet that standard, we don't use them. So um, <clears throat> we're committed to bringing you the high, highest quality, genuine essential oils and product ingredients. Uh, we have state-of-the-art tests that are repeated numerous times in all products, all from raw products to the final product. So we have highly uh, trained scientists that are in every farm and in our uh, corporate distilleries and in the headquarters. And so they're constantly test, 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 as well as third-party testing. So we all get that question a lot. Do we have third-party testing? And yes. And now Young Living has launched where you can actually see test results of your products online. So people always want to ask that. It'll be extremely hard to understand them, but they're there if you want to see the test products. So that is something that just newly came out as well. So we are the world's leading essential oil company. Um, pioneering. So pioneering, as we set the standards in the industry from the very beginning when Young Living started. So we were the beginning essential oil company and we have set those standards and maintained them. Young Living started the global compliance program that is a set of mandatory guidelines and policies that is set for the employees and their farms and all throughout the board. 
they all have to maintain those, those compliance. Young Living also helped develop the Lacey Act uh, compliance program, which is one of the oldest wildlife protection state statues in the US, which protects any plant that, and, and what other things that are in there that is coming into the United States that you can't sell something for something else. So it's a major to protect the plants and to sustain them as well, which we're gonna be going through that later on, like Rosewood, for instance, uh, and they have started a farm that is, it was in an endangered tree and now it is, uh, it is not endangered and it's coming off of that list because it has been being grown sustainably. So um, we are just, the convention was eye opener. It was a life changing event because you're able to, and going to the farm was spectacular. I just, you get to smell the lavender, you get to see it being distilled. They were doing lavender and um, uh, juniper at the at the the day that we were there, and it was just mind boggling. And the expo that's at the convention too, as well, was had everything. Every farm had uh, all the a laboratory set up to where you could actually see the test. You could smell every single oil, all the supplements. And of course, all the new products that came out as well, which now I'll turn it over to you so you can go over that. Okay. Thank you, Deborah. Awesome job. Thank you so much for sharing that. Yeah. 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 So, you know, you have to, when you're looking to um, for essential oils, and especially all my reflexologists over there, or anybody that's using essential oils for your well being, you have to make sure what you're putting in and on your body or breathing is of purest. So I want you to be assured that Young Living is the world leader in that. They're going on 30 years, you know, next year's their 30 year anniversary. So to follow that, what um, the technology and Gary was such a, such a spirit. Um, this is his son. I want to get this. If I can get this clip, I didn't want to play the whole thing because, ooh, go back. I bet you now I don't even have the clip. Let's see. Ah, uh, here we go. Trillionary method for extracting plant. Let me just go ahead here. About a decade ago, my dad contemplated new and different ways to extract even more from plants in a way that utilizes a broader spectrum of the plant. But the scientists at the D. Gary Young Institute continue to be inspired by his initial vision. And all these years later, have invented a new method of extraction that has the potential to bring even heavier plant compounds into young living oils. <laughs> it's our exclusive patents pending deep spectra technology. And we are the first to bring this technology to the world. Although we are still in the discovery phase for deep spectrum technology, this new process allows us to get molecules out of the plants that can't be extracted through traditional steam or hydro distillation methods. The possibilities for deep spectrum technology are endless. Imagine how this patents pending technology could expand across all product categories. Young Living has the best research and development team in the industry and we will continue leading the charge with new innovations that propel us forward to game-changing discoveries. So what does that mean? Well, it's, it's uh, incredible. So remember, uh, essential oils are that liquid within the plant, right? So the herbs don't have that. Your plants don't have that. And we were talking about the hemp oil before. So it's, it's in the fiber. The fiber in the plant is just what holds that living substance, that liquid that's found in there. So Young Living was the very first company that incorporated and mixed the oils into the dried herbs. The very first product of that was multigreens. So pretty cool. Now this, I know I don't want to get really science heady on you, but I want you to understand that a lot of these substances that we see here are, um, are, are really important for our health and well-being. So a lot of your pharmaceutical drugs are all come from plants, but they isolate a certain constituent. 
And then they will just narrow in on that one constituent and then they synthesize it in the laboratory to produce it for you. Well, when you take an essential oil or a supplement that we've been talking about, all of these components are all mixed together, okay? Metal chelators, antioxidants, um, all of these uh, vitamins in it, boswellic acid. I don't know if you ever know boswellic as acid is found in frankincense oil. And it was a lot of research that we did 14, 13 years ago with HK Lin. But, um, and you'll see it right here. It'll say the boswellic acids. Now those are, if you look at this, MW means their mass weight. So what they're talking about with deep spectra, they're gonna be able to pull out all of those heavier molecules like boswellic acid, like saponins. Now saponins, I remember Gary Young talking about plants can help us with our hormones. Essential oils can help us with our hormones. And look what this says. They have the chemical structures of many of the human hormones. So our oils being the living liquid in the plant, like your blood is the living liquid that keeps you flowing and gives you nutrition. The essential oils do that for us as well, right? So when an essential oil is distilled, the lighter molecules or constituents, and there's all sorts of names, alcohols and ketones and monoterpines, sesquiterpines. Now, when you look at this, this is where Deborah was talking about if you know how to read the science, <laughs> good luck. But if you look at this in yellow, see, this is 136.2. That's the molecular weight. So all the light molecules come off. So when you smell an essential oil, which next month we're going to talk about how to smell an essential oil. So this is lighter. You're going to smell that first. And then you have your sesquiterpines which we talk a lot about in the reflexology about going across the blood brain barrier and affecting our, our brains and our nervous system. But then there are things called diterpines and triterpines and boswellic acids. If you remember boswellic acid had a, a mass weight of 410. So this is even at 320. So this area down here is where Young Living is focusing their research to pull out the heavier molecules that can be used for so much more healing, right? Now, if you, again, you can go to pubmed.gov and look up boswellic acid. So just let's take a look at frankincense oil. You'll notice the boswellic acid is not noticeable. Now, what they did with deep spectra is you'll see that the deep spectra oil has actually boswellic acid and B boswellic acids, A and B within it. So they call this frankincense squared. It's the power of frankincense multiplied. So Deborah's gonna pass around so you can smell the oils. I ask you not to apply them, but you'll notice the containers. Um, you can pass them all around, just kind of just smell them, take a whiff. What they did, we have three different ones. You're not going to be able to get these yet, but uh, that's the advantage of going to convention so you can get the products. But frankincense, we call it Frank Frank or frankincense squared. So these you do not want to distill. You simply want to inhale them or ingest because the molecules are so heavy. And then we also have the orange cacao, which is orange essential oil extracted and takes the antioxidants out of raw cacao from the Ecuador farm. And then you have sandalwood with coriander. So the coriander pulls all the healing attributes out of the sandalwood. These are patent pending. So they are going to be um, really, uh, what do I want to say, available shortly but the whole process is a technology that's going to go kaboom. It's going to just change how we're looking at using essential oils. Very wonderful. All right. So guess what's back? This is responsible, uh, sustainable with Rosewood essential oil. This is a video. Again, I want to play this for you and see if I can get you to the right. Oh, let me go back. Let me go, go, go back, go back, go back, go back. Escape that. I'm sorry play this again. And let's see if I can get this going. Of this bottom line, 
and I started to grow rosemary. I missed it. And I'm passionate about essential oils. My dream is that we can get rosewood out of this endangered species list. We bought this plot of land and I started to grow rosewood. The first time that I met Eduardo, we talked about both of our love for rosewood and everything that he told me lined up with the exact same project Gary and I had outlined that many years ago. We started this for passion and the idea was not to cut the tree down, we are focused on trimming the the tree and getting the leaves and branches to distillation. So we keep the tree alive for generations. An amazing thing about the Guardo's operation is you're only allowed to cultivate 20% of the property you own in Brazil. The government has a lot of regulations about rosewood, so it's a lot of work. Every single tree in the farm is numbered and GPS marked. So this is the identity of the trees. We show the government that we have all the records of such a tree. We are doing everything according to how it has to be done. So the next stage will be to distribute the seeds and the young starts into the jungle, into the families. Ajuda muito o incentivo de agricultura familiar, trazendo lucro e trazemos um pouco mais de qualidade de vida para os funcionários. The reason why this is such a good partner for Young Living is it checks all of our boxes on our seed and sale standards. We do a full range of quality control. Young Living wants to offer their customers the best quality found in the world. And that's what I want to say. The day that I actually made it to the bar and saw what it bar accomplished, I got very emotional because it's something that, that I wanted to accomplish. It's something that one of Gary's dreams. And they were 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 they I'm so happy to be able to bring Rosewood back as a key ingredient in valor in a sustainable way. If Gary was here today, he would be so excited that we're finally bringing back the original valor. Having this back for everyone in the world, it really brings you that valor into your life, valor to move forward. We really appreciate everyone in the world that purchased this oil. You're actually giving back to the reforestation of Rosewood in the Amazon Basin, the local communities. And think about the impact that one oil, one bottle can do to the world. Well, that is extremely exciting um, because the thing is what happened here, I don't know if you actually noticed, but um, the rosewood, that's exactly what Deborah was talking about. So rosewood actually became endangered and it was, it was gonna become extinct. So the Lacey Act that Young Living was the first to institute in the central, and I don't think all essential oils adhere to the companies adhere to that, but it protects the plants from giving, being over produced, over harvested for money. Gary did the same thing with helichrysum. Helichrysum was wild crafted like rosewood. And what happened with rosewood, they were just cutting down the trees and, and, and so we couldn't get it because it wasn't responsible farming. So what we're doing in the room is passing around the new valor and the old valor. What did you think guys? Did you smell the difference? Right? Can you feel it? I mean, the, the new valor to me just right goes through you. It's it's an amazing, amazing oil. When I first smelled that at a convention, I just had a flood go through, and I still, I mean, you can definitely smell the difference in the two valors. So what Young Living will be doing, they'll be, uh, you'll still be able to get old valor, um, but they're going to run through that stock, not waste it. It's still a great oil. 
Um, and then uh, they'll bring in the new valor. Okay. So Gary tried really hard for that. So this is, um, I'm going to play this video. So remember as reflexologist, one of the, every, every class that we teach, we always work on the spinal reflex of the feet. So even if you guys don't know reflexology or reflexology, please work on the spinal reflexes. And this is where we, we put that essential oil on. Okay, so you're going to assess both feet and then indicate, look at the chart, find out what's going on. And then you're gonna take your essential oil and you're gonna anoint. Um, you can anoint the areas that are tender, if it's just lumbar or maybe cervical, but I like to anoint the whole foot because it's all one unit. And then you're going to work it with your alternating pressure, which opens up and like Valor does, brings that heaven to earth energy, earth to heaven. And as Susie said, gives you the courage and the strength and the fortitude, but with a calm mind, you know, it's a wonderful, and that's the rosewood in there. So you can take a picture of the QR um, if you want, and that will take you to the reflex orology page. So next we have... Um, Ignite. Now, this oil actually was um, created by Gary Young in 1992. And the name of it back then was Lazarus. Lazarus. What does that remind you of? When you hear the word Lazarus, what do you think of? Raising from the dead. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And Gary said, um, you know, essential oils are always the closest thing to God's spirit on earth. That's one of his quotes. And he also said it was, he said, sometimes it's easier to raise the dead than to give birth. <laughs> In other words, to raise your dead in spirit, your dead in enthusiasm, to get some fire in your belly, to live life to the fullest, right? Rather than just going through the process of wasting time every day to ignite your soul and your body. So there's a lot of oils in here. Um, this blend has uh, frankincense in it, uh, juniper, peppermint, cardamom, lemongrass, basil, ginger, and cinnamon. Wow. Now, reflexologists, when you look at this, or any of you, let's think about what body system these oils are for. Everything, right? So juniper, I love for the urinary system, right? It's also very woodsy, very grounding. Uh, peppermint, what do you think of? Digestion. Stomach, digestion, cooling nerves, inflammation, right? Good for the brain. It's a wow oil, so it wakes you up. What about cardamom? Mm -hmm. I think digestion, right? And it's very calming. It's a very calming oil. And frankincense, pff, hello, frankincense is like for everything. Anything, right? yeah. Everything. And then you have lemongrass. Liver. So, liver, liver and tendons, muscles. Wow. Lymphatics. <laughs> Helping fungal issues. Lemongrass, yes. And that's also good for digestion. Yeah. Lemongrass. I mean, that lemongrass is a great oil. Yes. I've also heard lemongrass say it's the poor man's Melissa. Like Elemy is the poor man's frankincense. Yeah. Um, basil. What's basil good for? Muscles. Muscles. Very good. Um, ginger. Digestion. 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 It's very warming, right? Warms you. And cinnamon. Uh, pancreas. Pancreas, right. Blood sugar issues. Very good for Rissa. Endocrine, immune system. It's in our thieves oil, right? So, I, I mean, this is a powerhouse. I think I, I think about this oil and that's going to be a great one to use anywhere at any time. I mean, look at those oils. And seriously, which one? I mean, you could probably eat all this. Right. Like if, if in doubt, use frankincense or lavender. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. But this one's got more ba -ba 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 bang. Right. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah. you've turned it all up, and they 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 make it more than what that what that is. 
So yeah, a great new essential oil for you. So it helps you to ignite your journey, to ignite you. So a lot of people right now need this. You know, their uh, their brains aren't focused. They're lacking in enthusiasm. They're not motivated. You know, just stick this oil under their nose. You know, seriously, put it on their feet. Get them going. Lori, tell the name yeah. of it again. The name it's, of this oil. The name of the oil is Ignite. Ignite your journey. And yeah. Lori, is this one of the oils that you just smell and sniff? And not diffuse, you use no, you ingest no, or no. the only ones you would not diffuse would be the deep spectra oils. Why? Because the the molecules are heavy. So they're gonna fall down in the okay. diffuse. So don't diffuse that you can't get the deep spectra right now. What did you guys think of deep spectra when you smelled? Okay. Thanks. Yeah. I, I was almost not gonna share it with you because I know you want it and you can't get it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I have some. <laughs> Come visit me. <laughs> Eventually you will, but this is just going to the technology. Young Living is the world leader in essential oils. There's no doubt about it because this is just going to open up a whole nother world. I mean, people never thought about ingesting oils and using them for healthcare before Young Living. They were always just fragrance oils. So this is a turnaround and it is a real potential. Um, amazing. Barbara. What's the price of the Ignite? Uh, what's the price of the Ignite? I'll get back to you on that. Yeah, okay. I don't remember. Uh, what I was hearing was, well, we just bought um, you know, taking it any other way about it into our lungs because of the only way they can be taken or can they be adjusted should we buy the are you talking deep spectra yeah so deep spectra most of them they suggested that i'll tell you what hk lynn said and he Which was the, the he was the main scientist behind a lot of this brilliant brilliant man he's um and he said you don't want to diffuse them because you need to lick out the diffuser. <laughs> <laughs> Again, all those heavy molecules are in there. So I personally, in the mouth. Yes. You can put it on your skin like the coriander and sandal sandalwood. Coriander, don't diffuse them. Don't yes. diffuse deep That's spectrum. The, these deep uh, spectrum, but the other ones you Thank you. So, um, Clarissa, the Ignite oil is 40, 40, 40, 444. No, 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 just $44.75 wholesale. Thank you. It's a five milliliter, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But that oil, and again, remember when you, you know, we use a lot of these oils on the feet, you know, so, uh, or put a roller ball on it. And so you can just roll it because you use less, right? One drop on your tongue is all you're going to need. Yeah. They're very potent, but remember go slow, but go often. More often you use your oils are better. Not a lot of, the, of one time, but little, a lot of time. Okay, so we're going to do these, try to do us uh, just focusing on essential oils. Um, and every, we're going to try for every Thursday of the month in the evening. The last, the third. Third Thursday of the month. Is that what I said? No. no okay. you said every Thursday. Every Thursday. I don't think so. No. No. So the next one will be August 17th. Now, Reflex Oil. And everybody, this is very exciting news. I would like to invite you all. The first Friday of the month, August 4th, at 1030 Central Time, we have what we call reflex reunion calls. So anybody is interested in feet is welcome to attend. And there is some major research going on right now by Kevin Kuntz, who is actually working with a neuroscientist and, and programming MRIs. He's actually worked the reflexes of the feet and they have done brain scans. And the neuroscientist that he was working with says, oh, my gosh, this is absolutely ch going to change neuroscience. So he is going to be speaking to us August 4th. So he's been he's a speaker. He's a worldwide speaker. So he's coming. He's written like 22 books. 
um, pretty amazing. So you're all invited to that. So if you're on this call and you've got the email, you will be getting those emails about that. So you're all welcome to, to join us with that. Okay, so August 17th, we'll be back uh, with some oily news.